Walmart acquired Flipkart for 16 US dollars, 16 billion US dollars in 2018. August 2020, Baiju's acquired Whitehead Jr. for 300 million US dollars. Later, it acquired Akash for 1 billion US dollars. Future retail is sought to be acquired by Reliance Industries. Hi, this is Nikhil Sharma. Today, I am going to talk about mergers and acquisition. How M&A work look like? These were the classic examples of M&A transactions. Commercial intent can be different. A shareholder or investor may be exiting from the company. M&A required far more extensive negotiations. In Flipkart, founders were exiting Flipkart when it was completely bought out by Walmart. Usually, there is a choice between multiple routes. You could choose to acquire the shares or specific assets of the business of the company. Alternatively, they could merge or be amalgamated through a scheme of merger or amalgamation under the Companies Act. Tax considerations, primarily capital gains, tax play a huge role in the structuring of M&A transactions. Stamp duty considerations are very important too. Often, the founder of the company may exit immediately or in a couple of years after the acquisition. For example, the founder of Flipkart exited after the acquisition. Specific agreements such as non-compete and earnouts with promoters or the sellers are very important. Non-compete states that the founder will not start business in a similar sector, say for about two years. And earnout says that the value of the founder's share will be determined based on the performance of the company in the next two years. More regulatory approvals may be necessary, example from competition, commission or SEBI etc. You may have some agreements to ensure that the transition to the new acquirer is smooth. Often, a cross-border angle is also present. After the structuring is complete, a basic letter of intent is prepared. The legal team proceeds with due diligence on the seller which is being merged or acquired. Then there is listed company. M&A work requires additional compliance with SEBI's takeover code and insider trading regulation. Public announcements, letter of offers and other documents are prepared by the lawyers pursuant to these transactions. These are stock exchange related approvals and other disclosures. Due diligence is different in listed companies. It is only limited to publicly available documents. So this was all about mergers and acquisition work. I hope you like this video.